Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little less out of the budget realm, and that is the Shozi Neo CP triple driver earphones. So in these earphones, we've got three balanced armature drivers, but they're not your average Chinese BA drivers. These are Knowles BA drivers, and they're manufactured by Knowles Electronics, which is an American company. They're also one of the leaders out there in the professional audio industry. Basically, a lot of their drivers can be found in professional grade audio and medical equipment, like for example, hearing aids, and also known brand name earphones like Shure, etc. Anyway, let's get into the review. So right off the bat, these are a really beautiful looking pair of in-ear earphones. You've got these transparent solid shells that have also got some color in them, blue for the left and red, which by the way, looks like pink for the right. They've also got these removable nozzles, similar to what you saw on the BGVP DMGs, which I'll talk about more in a short while. So they're small, they're sleek, and they feel great in the hand. And also to mention, the braided cable on these look and feel pretty sick. So at a glance, very premium. Now this is an MMCX style cable, which I'm not entirely a fan of. That is of course the MMCX connectors, which you see here. So I love the braided cable, but I'm not such a fan of this style connection. Simply because they get very difficult to unplug from the earphones once they're on. And these Shozi Neos are no exception. The cable is almost impossible to remove from the earphones by hand without risking destroying it. So I always end up just using some sort of a prying tool in order to do this. The one thing I do like with the MMCX connectors is the fact that they can rotate. So that part definitely helps with the fit. Let's now move on for a few minutes and talk about the sound and then we'll get back to the design. So my first impressions on the sound that these earphones produce was okay. I guess I thought that maybe these needed a little more burn-in. So I gave them that. I pretty much used these for a full day and my impressions on them for the most part did not really change that much. The sound that these earphones produce is pretty average considering that these cost just over 150 bucks. And also considering that these earphones are using those premium Knowles BA drivers that I spoke about previously. So that was a bit disappointing. Let me expand a little. So the highs and mids are more pronounced on these making them a brighter sounding pair. They're also very forward sounding as well as also having very forward vocals. The bass on these is pretty average. It doesn't stick out, but it's also not recessed. I guess it's just a little flat. Basically not the type of bass that the bass heads out there will enjoy. Again, it's pretty average. So the instrument separation was pretty good, but now when it came to the soundstage, I felt like it was missing that airiness to it, like that breathability that I would normally get from some other earphones that I've reviewed in the past, so it just didn't have that. It almost sounded a little clogged or muddied maybe. And also overall the sound was missing that fullness to it. It's like they sound a little bit hollow. I also found them to be sibilant sounding. Now I don't mean to bash these because these earphones also have some great qualities to them as well. For example, the fit. These are probably the best fitting IEMs that I've ever put into my ears. They fit snugly inside and they practically stay put without noticeable discomfort. So huge thumbs up for that. They're also very well made and designed. They feel nice and solid in the hand. Just look closely and pay attention to the internals. So you'll see tubing that goes all the way from the BA driver nozzles down to the main earphone nozzle. I've only seen this before on custom or pricier IEMs like these Shozi Neos. And then again, there's that really premium looking braided cable. All right, so moving on. The earphones ship out with the basics. You get a case, a variety of different styles of ear tips from double flanged all the way to memory foam. Though the ear tips are relatively small. So if you have larger ear canals, you may need to get a pair of aftermarket ear tips. The earphones also ship out with a pair of metal nozzles, which you can change up on the earphones that will essentially filter out some of the highs from the sound. In my experience using them, they helped ease some of the highs and that sibilance. Also a quick mention here on them is that the nozzle threads are precisely machined. So they come on and off smoothly, unlike the <coughs> BGVP DMG nozzles. So if you remember when I reviewed the BGVP DMGs, the nozzles would just not smoothly come on and off. They would get stuck at some point and then eventually the threads got all messed up. So my overall conclusion on these earphones is that they fit, feel, and look great, but performance wise, I feel like they're lacking in that area. Now, not to get me wrong, I don't think that these sound bad. I just think that at this price point, you might be better off getting something less expensive, like for example, the TRNV80s 
or even the Tin Audio T2s, if that is you don't have an issue with how those would fit. Or even getting a pair of BGVP DMGs if you don't plan on playing around with those nozzles. One other side thought that I wanted to add is that the Shosi Neos are most probably meant more as a pair of in-ear monitors, so for monitoring music, especially with that flattish sound signature to them. So this is not something that the average listener will get the best value out of is I guess what I'm trying to say. Also the fact that these are using high quality BA Knowles drivers, I did expect these to kind of blow me away. But again, maybe they're just meant for monitoring music. Well guys, that's been it for my review on the Shosi Neo triple driver earphones. If you've enjoyed watching this review, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. For now, thank you all for watching and as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.